Hey, Danny and Mike listeners, before we get to the episode today, I wanted to ask a favor. Our new network, The Last Podcast Network, is doing a survey which will in turn improve the content that you hear. It only takes a minute, it's all confidential, and it's just some questions about your listening habits. You can find the link in our description of this very episode. Two, three, four. The world was so big, and I was so small. Your voice was always the loudest of all. So, Jeremy, you're looking very, uh, what, what is the word, um, patriotic today? Oh, I, uh, am I? Yeah, on this 4th of the July. The uh, earlier I went out and um, I was wearing green army-ish looking pants and mm-hmm. a long sleeve uh, St. Vitus shirt. Yeah. And so I was like, this is not, this is more of the militant Jeremy. This isn't the patriotic. I would have profiled you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised nobody said anything that I'm not wearing a black t-shirt. Because well, because you preface your, when you were coming into the bu- into this building is, hey, do you like my shirt? And then I said, it has stains on it. <laughs> And it does, but with, it's only got a little bit of spackle on and it. And with that's one, all. with one it's cutting, a little bit of spackle. With one cutting comment, Jeremy would <laughs> never see Danny in a non-black T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had to put it on because you know it's Fourth of July. I need a little red, you know, got okay. a little blue hat on. I'm the blue. I almost, uh, I have a really nice sriracha T-shirt that's just like the front label of the classic sriracha bottle. <laughs> yeah, uh, but it's snug. And I didn't want to wear it. Is it a large or a medium? It's a medium. Ooh, oh, pushing. That's, oh, way pushing. Pro, that's. Uh, I mean, a large, large. Do you want to lend it to me for a while? I mean, you, you would, you would fit in it just fine. I didn't want to put it on. I, ca- I passed looking for my other. You know, I had a Richard Lloyd red shirt, and I was like, "That's just bad karma. I don't want that." Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I have this, which mid- is, and I have this midnight spaghetti red shirt that I was like, okay, I'll wear that one. You can actually used to be able to buy that at Pearl Paint before it closed. Midnight but, Spaghetti Red. <laughs> <laughs> but Kate saw the Sriracha one and was like, oh, you should wear the Sriracha shirt. And yeah. I was like, uh, uh, I'm I sorry. think it's a little tight. I'm sorry. You let your wife pick out your clothes for you? No. Jeremy? I don't. Jeremy? I, w- I don't. I wear... I, I, with the, I wear fucking black tees all the time. I was looking to wear red ones. She was like, "Ooh, you're being fun today. Like, let let me. The reverse, why don't you want to put it on? Reverse this psychology is, right. is working. Well, maybe it is. Who knows? <laughs> well, she said, put it on. I said, I don't want to put on that shirt because I, I know it's I it know on. it's tight. I know it's tight. It's gonna feel like I'm I'm an actual <laughs> bottle of sriracha. And and but. she said, just put it on. And I said, no. This, and then she said, just put it on. And I said, yes. Okay. This reminds me when on. Hugo McRob went <laughs> as a bottle of Tapatio for oh, Halloween. God, yes. Great, great picture. Yes. Yes. Hugo is a uh, uh, way ahead of his time. He is a yes. old soul. Yes. Uh, in a young bottle yeah. of Tapatio. Yes, he is a young He bottle was fully of dressed Tapatio. in Scottish attire for their visit to uh, Scotland. Yes. Yeah. He's awesome. Awesome. Anywho, I put on that shirt and my hypothesis was correct. And I look like a bottle. Of sriracha because it was glued to my <laughs> also to he, my belly also and everything very, else. Also, he was very shiny. Yeah, the whole. It wasn't time that too. shiny. No, it wasn't. No, I actually sheen, uh, sheen, only had one had sheen, day sheen to it. Only one day, two days ago, it was so hot that my air conditioners <laughs> could not keep up with a fourth floor apartment with all the heat rising. I just couldn't get anything going. It was terrible, mm. real bad. Oh, anyway, boy. long story short, I grabbed my belly and I squeezed, and I felt like sriracha would have come out of my fucking head. Because it was so tight. Did she get a picture not, of this? She did not. Mm. But I did put on a green Mighty Ducks hat just oh, so she on. could, so I could really live the green top of the sriracha bottle. I, yeah, I was gonna say. I wonder if you like fed certain people peppers and then milked them. If you could get sriracha from them, <laughs> <laughs> is that is that is that how it'll work in Maybe. the future? We're Throughout gonna genetically we're gonna genetically engineer goats. Maybe to, everyone's eyes would be burning. Oh, yeah. you I heard think, about that in California. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's why. Yeah. Well, in the, the town where they make sriracha, too. Ingle, they had to, Ingleside or Ingle yeah. something. Is that where they made it? That's where they make it. That's, that's where, where they, they genetically that's, engineered okay. the people, yes. Yeah. And grinded them up into uh, chili sauce. Um, well, I can't think of anything more American on this day than stuffing yourself into a 
<laughs> a tight pack. It's stuffing meat into a tight package with with, uh, the, the, annual it Coney, with yeah. the annual and then sweltering it outside, yeah. uh, steaming the, it with yeah. the annual uh, Coney Island hot dog eating contest, which, which is I, disgusting. As I've as I've aged, always been disgusting. As I've never aged, been fun to watch ever in I life. Ha- I've hated it. Um, it's foul. It's ooh. the most foul looking thing you ever see. People dunking fucking yeah, bread, bread into, into water. water and then no. stuffing no, it in that's, the face. That's, that's fine. That's, no, that's fine. That doesn't. That makes me nauseous well, to look at. They should have milk. It should be a panade. You should be making oh, like oh a nice God. meatball. Uh, yeah, oh no, I understand milk on a ninety degree day. Yeah, but they're. Uh, it's just like Cody Chestnut does it this, again. Yeah, but, it's this wow. orgy of excess in a time of just like some people who are not doing that well. Mm. Yeah, just people in Coney Island alone that could actually eat those hot dogs instead of watching people shove them in their. Whoa, face. we just ruined everything. Sorry, Nathan's. Um, you know it's not that bad though. <laughs> well, the thing is, we uh, a couple episodes ago we had this pop in from Little Steven, right? Yes. Uh, and I feel like it wasn't the most uh, productive episode. It wasn't the most uh, didn't get the best reactions on reaction episode. Really? But that's not true. Live I engagement, will say live engagement. Let's check uh, check it, in the engagement. It right is. Now. Um, you know, it's an honor to have little Steven here, and he's going to pop in once again for a 4th of July episode. So welcome, little Steven. <laughs> hey, how's everybody doing? Everybody's good? We're doing, we're doing uh, pretty good. Little Steven, you're uh, sporting uh, a red, white, and blue bandana for the holiday. That's, that's really- right. That's right. You know where I got it from? Can Ruth. You, can you, oh. Ruth gave it to you. You know, this is the exact same hanky that's hanging out. Of his ass, of his pocket, ass pocket, right? Of his world famous record, that cruising sold his four hundred and seventy five million mm. copies Cru- worldwide. Cruising, which cruising. was later made into a movie starring Al Pacino. I remember, cruising. I remember I it very now, well. I, guys, <laughs> uh, no, little Stephen, you seem That's to have something it. stuck in your throat. Uh, is there? That's just how I laugh. Have you done any barbecuing uh, today yet, or are you going to save that for later? No, I'm going over. To, I'm going over to uh, Brucey's house a little later. Brucey, yeah. Okay. Cousin um, Brucey from 101.1? Yeah, you know 101.1? Yeah. WCBS Look, FM? Us, come on, us old school DJs, we got to stick together, you yeah, know? So, yeah. it, you, it, I, I imagine it's some sort of like uh, room with no lights and you people just know each other by voice. That's exactly correct. Also, you people. Yeah. Um, that's exactly correct, that, Those with a face for a radio. No, yes. That's true. As... Yeah, I've been told Look, that a lot. I can't even tell you what Imus looks like. I just know here he's got a gizzard. I've never seen his face. I only know what he sounds like. You are lucky because there are some people who do know. And yeah, we could. Yeah, we don't want to facilitate that because that's. Yeah, like a, when I when I find people, who I hear know he wears he looks a cowboy like. hat too. I do that sometimes. You do? Yes. Yeah. I don't want to hear about your bedroom habits. When I find somebody who knows what Imus looks like, I just keep <laughs> walking until I find someone who doesn't. Yeah, yeah, which is easy here. Guys, do you Why? need me for anything else, or do you? No, well, do you have questions for Little Steven? No, I just figured that you might ask Little Steven something about music. I brought Little Steven here for a reason, because he just reissued his 1983 classic record, uh, Voice of America. You're much more familiar with this record than either Jeremy or I, so I figure you might have some questions for Little Steven about the record. (laughs) Yeah, what, uh, especially, I mean, it's it's, it's a a record about America, it looks like, so that's a Yeah, well, that's the thing. Steven, I just wanted to, it's Little Steven. Steven, what I wanted to ask you uh, about the record, sorry. Um, I was wondering, little Steven, do you think that uh, Danny uh, took any of his inspiration of his character from Little Pete from your character, Little Steven? I mean, I guess there could be some uh, crossover there for sure. Okay. I mean, there's uh, like a little bit of Italian. He's got a, you know, he's got this, uh, he's a short bravado, you know, he's a short guy. He's got. Are you talking about the Napoleon complex? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like? With, you know, with a small guy, we don't talk about the Napoleon complex. How tall are you? That's true. Little Steven. little Steven, I don't, I hate that comment every single time i get that napoleon thing it just because he's a yeah i know he's you know he's, he's got a tiny he's little italian penis. he's italian hey, no napoleon's got a tiny little penis and it's hidden and it's in a box and it's in the museum where Wait, which it. which museum i heard about that you can't see it oh, wow what? it's not it's not a solid box the box is transparent yeah uh, no it's a wooden box but this inside it's there's the, a hinge the, it opens yeah yeah yeah. you can see it if you open it laying on the velvet it, it's, no, it wasn't like, I you would know, say purple, but black is always... one of those things. You just like, like, you know, who needs to see Napoleon's dick? You know, uh, yeah, Joseph, look, he did all this Joseph, conquering. Josephine, obviously, also Joseph Gordon Levitt. He would like to see that. What is he? He's I don't know why. Enough. He's rich like enough. He could probably record? just buy. He's it. Like yeah. that. 
Exactly. That guy with his hit record stuff really pisses done, me yeah. off. Uh, speaking of, little hit- Steven hates that shit. I don't know why I talk to myself in third person. I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, I, I, I was going to say, Dan, I remember your uh, New Jersey connection to Little Steven really resonated the last time well, we were here. Well, on The Sopranos, yeah. I mean, you know, that's, right. the, the Sopranos were, was a show that I could watch and be like, hey, I've been to that deli before. That's not right. the name of it. That's saying, movie magic. Given, right. given the... Uh, the intensive meat grilling nature of this holiday uh do you think that little steven and uh little pete might have a connection at the pork store on a on a fourth of july <laughs> such as this yeah i think so i think uh, little pete and little steven could hang out i do agree also steve okay well it's, it's little good. steven please stop calling me thief you know i i think uh big steven uh if there is that's one, my father Big yes. Steven. Uh, I figure he and I might get along a little bit better, but it's right. it's great to see you two. He fix- just hated all my flair, you know? What well you Big should- Steven was upset because I you know, I couldn't just have one bandana on. Right. I couldn't just have like, you know, one necklace or one bracelet or like three rings. Yeah, you, you had know? the Steven Tyler disease. Everybody gets it. It's Steven Tyler disease. Yeah, That's Steven very Nixon, funny, yeah. Michael. You know, I did that before Steven Tyler, let me tell you that. Well, are you from Boston? Uh, no. Well, at least you got that going for you. But you're from New bop, Jersey. Bop, 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 bop. I love that dirty water. Okay. Bum, is that bum, on the, bum. Hey, is that part of the record? Boston, yeah, you you're my a, home. You brought a record that I guess hey, that's you're just, No, that's just, I play that song all the time on my little Steven. That's not on the record. Garage. No, saying. no, okay. that's not my song, no. I mean, is there is some of this that you want to uh, maybe Talk preview? about maybe? Oh, talk or, about the re- or Danny, did yeah. you have some favorite uh, tracks you maybe want to interview oh, yeah, Little yeah, Steven yeah. about? Uh, little Steven, do you think uh, you could give us a, a little rundown on uh, Checkpoint Charlie? I think it's that track three on the record. We'll just play it, a little bit of yeah, it. Yeah, it seems like a uh, sort of a Cold War yeah, well, it's in 1983, you know. Right. Okay. Right. And Frank, I wrote it in 82. Turn, the, know, turn the volume up for right. uh, The wall hadn't Gramps come down. Yeah. Oh, you know? okay. No, the wall wasn't down Let, yet. Let's hear All it. Right. So anything else you want to set it up with? No, nah, just, just, play. just play a little bit of it. We'll talk about it. You can get right to the meat and potatoes. There's like a little guitar thing here and some drums. I mean... You know what I mean? This feels like you're at Checkpoint Charlie. Don't come around here no more. Hey, Whoa. don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do shots that. fired. Really nice. Whatever you're looking for. Yeah, it's pretty much. It's, uh, should I skip I mean, ahead or you ripped hey, off? You can skip ahead a little you bit. Ripped, yeah, yeah, you yeah. ripped off Tom Petty. You piece of garbage. No, no, that's who's gonna walk you home tonight. Okay. okay. You know. Hey. <laughs> Wow! Who's oh yeah, drive you home. Who did the chimes? That that guy took my song. Yeah, who did the wind chimes in the back though? I did I did everything on this record. I played the drums. I played wow. the guitars. I played the synthesizers. You're a real Billy Corgan. I did everything. If you look at the bottom of the record, it says uh, written, arranged, produced, guitars, Little Steven. Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pause this one. Okay. Yeah. If you look in even okay. finer print below that, it says disavowed by the Secretary of Defense. Yeah. I mean, yeah, wow. it really kind of hits home with, with what was going on at the time. That's why I kind of re-released this record, you know. I have a song on there called uh, I Am a Patriot. Well, that's what I wanted to ask you about. That's... Yeah. And Voice of America. The first song on the right. record is like a very strong one. Right. Very strong. And what uh, when you're writing it, what was the uh, what were you thinking what was about? your mindset? Yeah. Well, I was thinking about the Voice of America, you know, in 1982. You know, it's pre-before Bush and Reagan, you know. It was, it was a serious time. Uh, Bush and Reagan were both in office at that time. Time, little Stephen. I don't know if you. Remember. No, but they were. But you know, there was they wasn't running together yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were running at the same time. No, I don't think that. No, there wasn't. They were. They had, I don't remember they, that. Uh, it was yeah. eighty four. It was nineteen eighty four. Yeah, but in uh, actually, George Bush was his already his vice president. Yes, I am saying yes. I I get that, but I'm saying he, yeah. You know, trying to. So are uh, you talking? I'm just about, saying you know it's just a, a lot of corruption, a lot of stuff going on. So that was your, my Voice of America was right. me telling everybody, look at me. Check out these drums with no uh, phases or anything. They sound really dead, like society and stuff. So here pe- comes. So pe- here pe- comes. People were the drums, right? Yeah, you know, like punk rock was really big at the time. Okay, so hold I decided. On. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. See what I mean? Dun, dun, Reagan. Oh, that's that's basically. Yeah, that was me singing Reagan. Reagan. Okay. 
Wow, I, I think I found it. I, I found a record worse than Billy Joel's The Bridge. Wow, what do you Whoa, feel, feel hey, about that? Excuse me, excuse me. Hey, uh, Michael, I'm right here. You might want to sit in between uh, I'm going to sit in between. I'm sorry I wasn't jumping in. I'm just trying to listen to little Steven speak about no, it. No, no, it the, really is. The whole is. process of, it's very, you guys don't know, art. I mean, it Jeremy knows a little bit because he's a musician too. No, but it like, creates a mood and the mood is I want to drown myself and uh, oh, thank you. That's really nice. Thank I you, mean, little Steven. No, please, please. Wow. Oh, maybe I am a patriot. We'll we'll change your mind. Okay, How about that? okay, okay. Um, mind's open. This record, Let's do it. This is, Let's this do is it. the quinti- If you play this album full front to back at your Fourth of July party, you will become a mass shooter. We know. Just stop, okay? <laughs> I don't think that's true. So the uh, uh, parentheses on okay, this I'm track. Listening. Yeah, go ahead, Jerry. After uh, I am a patriot is, and the river opens for the righteous. Okay, so I... See, no, this is me putting a little bit of reggae spin on it. See? <laughs> so, wow. you stole... Okay, so you stole some government weed, and you flew the plane to Jamaica, and you... Michael, Michael, you please. You can never please come back home. let me speak for one second. You can could never you come just, back just, home. Could you just... <laughs> I'm listening. Just, just let me speak. I'm listening, second, little okay? Stephen. Go ahead. Look, it's 1983. Okay. Well, it's not. It was no, no. I'm saying when I made this record, it was 1983. Actually, okay. it was before that. It was before Reagan and Bush, you know. I'm saying it was. It was before Reagan and Bush, 84. But there were still friends. There were still friends and stuff. That's fine. But look, let, let me just. Uh, already in office let together. Let me just tell you something. Okay, Michael? Okay. Please, please. 1983, the class had just broken up. The best, biggest band you never heard of. You know that? The Aristocrats? No, that was. The clash. <laughs> that was the clash. Oh, because I heard of them. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thought. Yeah, it was, but I, that's the whole thing. So the world was changing. But I thought so it was. What I'm a, saying is, what I'm a, saying to you is, the Chad, first, correct me if I'm wrong, Jeremy. But I think he was referring to a band I had never heard of, but I had heard of the Clash. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The biggest point, little band like. in the world. Anyway, go go the ahead. Clash yeah. was the biggest little band in the world. They, they were the biggest. They were the biggest band in the world, just like your Steven. They kind of screwed it up a little bit. But what I'm what I was trying to get at the beginning of this record is this punk rock, you know, and then I am a page. It's Voice of America. Then I am a patriot. It's reggae. Drown yourself in the ocean. Yeah, no, but that, that. look, hey, how many class songs are there that are rock and reggae and they're mixing together? Some band called Sublime tried yeah, to do it. They yeah, did a good a, job doing it. None of them it. suck like this album. You're right, little Whoa. Steve. So you're, uh, I was going to ask if you guys, if you Michael, to tell maybe... me what it is you don't like about this music. It's made by you, A. Uh, B. Wow, harsh. B. Did that mean you hate all Bruce Springsteen songs? No. But it's got it's like a it's in the it's a strike in the no column. Just because Nils Lofgren did most of the guitar solos doesn't mean that I'm not a good. I don't know how to finish that sentence. Uh, did you just break this record? I didn't break it. Uh, uh, it I did drop it out of the album. In though. that it was easy to surpass. Yes, he broke the Still record. Still in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay. Because here's the thing. That's an ancient. Relic. I was wondering well, who you think. But you're reissuing uh, it. I, I, oh, I'm yes, checking. I'm reissuing it, but you know what? I can't put Picasso on the back of it because I'll get sued. I'm checking the album notes here, little Steven, and it says you thank uh, my family, my friends, yes. Scott yes. the Engineer, Scott the Scott Engineer, uh, as well. Bruce, Just, Scott, Scott, Scott Bale. Yeah. It says for some reason you thank Bill Cosby. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> why? You're thanking no. Roseanne Barr. Uh, wow. No. No, here's the thing. There's a couple guys in You're there. Thinking, that, okay, no, 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 there's some finer print here. You're thanking Harvey it's Weinstein. It's William Cosby. Oh. And no, it's uh, not hot. It's, You're it's thanking hot. House member Dennis Haster. Oh, my God. And then you also, for some reason, oh, no, he was uh, probably a uh, low level at that point. Oh, okay. in guys, can you just lay off a little Steven a little I, bit? I don't know. Like, I'm just, like, Mike, you're ri- ripping in. I like him, but uh, it, I'm just reading what the album says here. I think maybe yeah, if he re- know, reissues I, it, he might want to not right. thank all yeah, these people. I told you. Thank yous go even further. Yeah. Robert Maplethorpe, he thanks. Oh That's a good God. one. Wow. That's good, yeah. I, actually. But Woody oh, Allen, I think yeah, he there. thanks Woody Woody yeah. Allen as an inspiration. Hey, just because those get, look in 1983, there wasn't a uh, 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 pledge.com or Kickstarter, okay, or anything like that. So how do so, people polish their? That's uh, what furniture? I'm saying. When I, I had to ask people for money orders to get my CDs and my records and my cassette tapes until made. you create a Columbia Music House. What, Sixteen. 16 uh, cassettes to CDs for a the dollar price, a the price yeah. is pretty Why? good. I'm still a member. Are you? Yeah, I still have my card. How many times have you changed your name to? Just the once. I just my took parents the L got out. so mad at me for doing that. Yeah, the BMG. Oh or my the, uh, god! Yeah. It was just so easy to be like, yeah, oh, yeah. Sure. It was a gateway drug. It was a super gateway drug to like learning how to just. 
And then the best part was yelling at them that you didn't get the CD when you did get it. Oh, you never got it in the mail? No, it never came. What do you mean? I'm not oh, paying yeah. for it. Yeah. I'm not paying for that. Lost in the mail. Yeah. Yeah. I. Uh, yeah, you should have paid for uh, certified. Yeah. You know, that happened to me a couple times. Oh, you subscribe? Uh, Did it yeah, happen, I, little Steven? I yeah. figured as a music industry insider, you wouldn't be going for all that CD Yeah, stuff. no, look, I, I have my fair stuff, share or? of, uh, you know, CDs and tapes with the little, you know, guts in it, with the little line of the, they put the hole through the, uh, the UPC. Demos. The mm. UPC demos. Code. He's talking about mm. demos. Yeah. Everybody's got demos. Yeah. yeah. But it seems like you, is that how you uh, got all the copies of your... Your albums to sell? Is Actually, I did, yeah, because nobody bought them. So everyone just turned out to be you a You got them uh, back for promo. free. Wow. Yeah, you know, that's what happens. You buy them back at a cheap rate, and then you can just sell them to the, you know, the uh, well, used theory, record stores. Yeah, you would stuff. sell them, but. Yeah, no, no, I wouldn't do it myself. I'd have my buddy Johnny come in and do that for me. That makes sense, because otherwise it'd be pretty embarrassing. Yeah, it would be kind of, it's almost the same way as like Dan Aykroyd coming in there and selling his crystal skull vodka, to, you know, going into his. <laughs> right. No, that makes sense. It's an ongoing concern. It's kind of, every time I. Any, He's not know, selling used vodka yeah, to the guys the in Greenpoint. Every, every once a month, Dan Aykroyd comes into my liquor store. And, and I get an like, autograph hey, it's a on crystal something. Skull. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know it's Crystal Skull, Dan. And no, I can't have you playing piano on the next Bruce album. He asks me every time. What, really? Yeah, he asks me every time. That's okay. I mean, what else are people going to talk to you about? I don't know. I don't I, yeah. you know. I try not to listen anymore. Did you re Particularly this? after this podcast I'm doing. This is a, a terrible. Uh, well, you've been a great and resilient guest. I'm and just I think, trying to I think show Danny, you that it's, 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 this is the 4th of July. I think Danny's going to get to invite a lot more guests on after this. Yeah, no, I tell you what right now. I mean, you know, Nils Lofgren, he's a friend of mine. We play in a band together, Bruce's band. I won't, I'll tell him you can't come on. I this. never heard of him. Is he ethnic? Oh, my God. Is he from here? <laughs> he sounds like an... <laughs> I don't know who you're referencing. You so. don't know who Nils Neil, Neil Lofgren, he's just only the greatest guitar player other than me that's in Bruce Springsteen's band. Oh, uh, I always like So how many player. guitar players really... are there? Oh, Clarence Bruce... Clemens, he's yeah. dead. Uh, no. Yeah, he just passed away. Yeah. yeah. He died. How many Hey, oh, how many little Steven, players? you want to know something funny? Yeah, they, no, it's not funny. Well, it's not funny or it is? It, it's not funny. But uh, our wardrobe lady uh, dated Clarence Clemens. Ileana, do you remember oh, wow. her? On Pete and Pete. Do you remember Ileana? She was a huge... Uh, props. Right? Props, okay. She was a... Hoops. She was a very tall... Ileana's very nickname tall was Hoops. Woman. That's right. She's from Ukraine. And she went to a Bruce Springsteen show, and Clarence Clemens took a liking to... I remember her. Yeah, you should. She was yeah, a really nice lady, Ileana. Head, head and shoulders above the crowd. Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, maybe one of these days we'll get the uh, the ghost of Clarence on. Uh, that would be a good... Uh, Jeez. Too no? Soon, Brought man. down the room? Yeah. Um... How about Tenth Avenue Freeze Out? He talks about, you know, the the band got better when the big man joined the band. Oh, and when they were talking about oh that, yeah, the not, big man they, joined the band. They meant they meant Joey Chestnut. <laughs> 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 fuck Joey Chestnut. Yeah, I say fuck Joey Chestnut too. Oh, okay. finally something we can all agree yeah. on. Yeah, thank let's you. all agree on that, and we let's end on a good oh, note. Thank you, like that. Uh, little Steven. Thank you so on much for letting me plug the new reissue of my album, which is actually uh, me buying back all of the record copies that okay. never got uh, and reselling them and used. Reselling them used, but I don't do it. Reissue. I don't do it myself, like Dan Aykroyd. You said your boy Johnny. Do it for me. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, any other uh, shout outs you want to give out uh, before uh, you? Uh, we Make sure you up? tune in to Little Steven's Underground Garage every oh. Sunday from uh, eight, uh, 10, 10 to midnight. It's from 8 a.m. to midnight. It's, it's actually 10 all p.m. to midnight, actually. Wow. And, uh, you know, I go in and I, I just have these great stories. Little Steven I, with the Steven spelled out. That's, that's right. It. Little Steven with the PH spelled out. What? Without a PH. Know. No, it's a V. It's Come a on, v. guys. It's, it's a V. Come on. You think I would be a Steven with a PH? Come on, you guys. You're a bit of You guys are fucking stupid. It's already better than the last one. Yeah. Thanks, Little Steven. Thank you, Little Steven. Thanks, Little Steven. Before we go, I just want to say we're part of the Last Podcast Network. Check them out. Lastpodcastnetwork.com for tons of other great shows. Uh, this guy on my right here is Michael C. Marone. You can find him at Michael C. Marona. Thank you for having me. On the me. interwebs. Uh, his partner to the right there, uh, partner I'll use loosely, uh, friend, uh, lover, um, <laughs> at Danny Tamborelli. It's at D. Tamborelli on the twits, uh, at Danny Tamborelli on the insts. And I am Remy Balin most everywhere. I also have another podcast called Fresh Beef. Check that out. And uh, I figured uh, little Steven's running out, but uh, maybe we could just... Uh, Go out on play him out, play him out, boys. Oh yeah, oh, oh, oh guys, I'll just yeah, just play me out with the uh, oh, this song is great. It's the last song on the album. It's called Undefeated because I'm always undefeated. It, it was about the I'm 72, the undisputed undefeated champion. It's about just the seventy two like, dolphins, just like the seventy two dolphins. That's right. 
Yeah, I can thanks so much point. for listening. Uh, I, we'll see you on the next one. I could see thanks, this we'll see. going under a, a training montage somewhere. Yeah, this is undefeated. So he said, "Yeah." Uh, no, they cut that out when I made the record. This is your version, right? My record, my version is the producer. I know I produced it, but the assistant you produced it. Here it comes. The, uh, the, so precious, baby. The parentheses on this one is everyone goes home. Eventually, undefeated. Yeah. I don't know everyone anybody goes who doesn't home. go home. Yeah. Uh, little Steven, I think you should go home now. And uh, we'll listen to the rest of the album. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for taking care of my album. All right, we uh, check them out. The Adventures of Danny and Mike stars Danny Tamborelli and Michael C. Maruna. The show is produced by me, Jeremy Baylor. This podcast is part of the Last Podcast Network, which can be found at lastpodcastnetwork.com. Make sure to check that out for a ton of great shows. For more information on the guys, visit our website at dannyandmike.com. Also look us up on Twitter at Danny and Mike with the N spelled out. And on Facebook at facebook.com slash the adventures of Danny and Mike. Thanks for listening. So glad that douchebag little Steven left. God, that guy was such a yeah, nosebleed. Sorry, guys. We yeah. should have him back, but definitely like give him rules and parameters about what yeah. he can talk about. Yeah, that was weird. All right, I'm sorry, guys. So you just asked me. It's cool, Dave. No, no. I mean, you you know, you've given us some good guests in the past, and you know, everybody's due a fucking raspberry once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> you know what Thank I'm saying? Guys, yeah. Any, anyway, paper towel on. Oh.